i förra avsnittet av Ocean Avenue. Apparently Karen skipped town because some psycho guy was calling her. And Jessica needed some money. So when Patterson was looking for Karen, she She figured she'd cash in on him. So she figured Patterson was a cop. But now she's really scared because the guy that was trying to contact Karen is now trying to contact her. You realize this could be our connection to this whole thing? I mean, starting with Bobby? <laughs> What's up, sweet thing? Hey. So you had a good time the other night, right? Yeah, yeah, I totally did. Good, then do me a favor and spread the word. I'm trying to create a buzz, you know? I'm playing. Yeah, I knew that. For a second there, you had me worried. Why? Thought maybe you didn't want me to ask you out again. No, I mean, yes. Yes, I want you to ask me out again, is what I meant. If that's what you were gonna do. Which I'm not saying that's what you were gonna do. I'm thinking about it. The trick is trying to fit it into my schedule. Now I got Mr. Ryan making us take this stupid field trip to the Everglades. That actually sounds kind of cool. Yeah? You wanna take my place? At least you're getting out of here, right? <laughs> you got a real bright side thing going on. I like that. Anyways, look, I gotta fly, but keep tomorrow night open, just in case. By that phone. You really think Karen's dead? Well, why else wouldn't her own roommate have heard from her? I don't know, maybe she's afraid. Well, then why is the same guy calling Jessica? No, I think he figures Karen talked to her. This is a heck of a time to be leaving town, huh? Yeah, but I think we could both use a break. <sighs> yeah, that's for sure. Anyway, Jessica says she's gonna stay locked up in her apartment until her boyfriend comes back this weekend. Hey, guys, the limo's downstairs, okay? Hi, Honor me and here. Hello. So, you guys, you wanna come? Sure. Let's go. Um... Chrissy, here's your ticket. Thank you. And then there's one for you. And Thank you, ma'am. One for me. Hmm. So where are you sitting? Chrissy? Uh, wow, you you got our seats together. Look, that's great. <laughs> okay, let's go. Eighteen twenty-five Ocean. No, I don't believe I know that one. Of course, they've knocked down so many of the old buildings. Oh, I forgot. You're an old Miami boy. Yeah, I'm born in New York, but spent most of my time down here. So, yeah, yeah, I guess I'm a native through and through. <laughs> what about you, Terry? You, uh, you a New Yorker? Yeah, born and bred. But I thought the agency needed to expand, and uh, it felt like Miami was the right place. Well, I'm sure glad that that happened. So, uh, you registered to vote? Oh, <laughs> yeah, speaking of uh, voting, I wanted to make a small contribution to your campaign, Commissioner. Oh, well, that's, that's uh, <laughs> very, uh, very generous of you. Thank you. Yeah, think of it as a vote of confidence. I sure will do that. 
You know, with all the uh, troubles in the world today, it's, it's so nice to have someone run for public office that really stands for something. Hey. Hey. How you doing? Amazing. Why is that? Jordan. Yeah, uh, I was gonna ask, but are you sure you're ready for this? Ready for what? You know, I'm gonna get all serious with a guy like Jordan. I mean, I know you like him, but... It's not like he proposed to me. I mean, we went on one date. Yeah, but you're all like, I love him. He's so special and wonderful. Okay, whatever. Shut up. I mean, I got excited. That's okay with you, isn't it? Yes, of course. And what do you mean by with a guy like him? Nothing. It's just, I don't want you to get hurt. What is that supposed to mean? Come on, I don't need you. Don't tell me about this little nice guy. I mean, the guy's a total jerk. He walks around here like every girl wants him and every guy wants to be him. They do. Are you jealous? <laughs> yeah, right. Are you jealous of Jordan Matthews? That's a good one. You know what? Before one of us says something that we're going to regret, why don't we just end this? Look, I only... I didn't want to say anything because I know you think Jordan's a total hottie, but... What? He's just not good enough for you, okay? And why is that, Josh? Because you said so? No. Because he thought me high. What are you talking about? Jordan said that if he ever saw me talking to you, he'd tear my arms up. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's right. I'm risking my life sitting here telling you, so... I cannot believe you're being such a baby about this. Jordan would never say something like that to you, and you know it. Open your eyes, Ioni. The guy's totally playing you. All right, the second you turn around, he turns into this total liar. And personally, I don't believe a word that comes out of his mouth. Except for the part of me wanting to tear my arms out. Something tells me he meant that. Just because your girlfriend dumped you doesn't mean it's going to happen to me. Would you listen to me? Why don't you do me a huge favor, Josh, and back off? Well, that went well. Look, I gotta get going. Pop's bucking for a quick trial. I heard they arrested Jimmy Ray for the girls that got murdered. Yeah. You don't think he did it, do you? No. Jimmy Ray's a bully, but he doesn't fit the serial killer profile. I'm waiting on the forensics for the last two victims. Jade? Yeah. Well, if it's not Jimmy Ray who did it, then whoever it is is still out there, huh? So, actually, our ratio is pretty good. We solve about 85% of all the crimes that come in here within the first three weeks. Oh, wow, how impressive. Well, we give it our best shot anyway. <laughs> well, I can't tell you how much I've enjoyed our chat. Oh, go on. I, I feel like I've just bored you with a lot of police jargon and oh, talk. I... <laughs> not at all. <laughs> it's, uh, it's fascinating to see it all through the eyes of experience. Well, now we, we do do our best. <laughs> Say, um... What about me taking you out for dinner some night? I could uh, give you the red carpet treatment, show you some of the uh, beach's finest. Uh... Well, I'd, I'd really like that. Well, good. <laughs> me too. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, until then. Yeah, thank you. Oh, well, hey, Dylan. What brings you down here? Hey, Uncle James, do you think we could talk? Humor me, Martin. What is it that you want from me? Try and resolve this before it gets nasty. Hmm. Nasty, that's, that's a very, very curious word. 
Ben Price at the bank told me that you convinced him to let you buy my loan so you could cut me some friendly slack. I may have alluded to something like that. You're not going to take my company. I will fight you tooth and nail. Well, you could try, Martin, but you see right now I am, uh, I am holding all the cards. <laughs> you don't want to run Devin yourself. No, that's very true. I do not want to run Devin. I want to see Devin disappear. And you think you can make it happen by making a little noise at the bank? I fought you once. I'll fight you again. Yes, but this time you don't have Jack Hamilton to hide behind, do you? This has got nothing to do with Jack Hamilton. In fact, I doubt it has much, if anything, to do with five years ago. You see, you're operating under a misguided notion. Oh, well, then why don't you enlighten me as to what the notion should be, Martin? The baby. Hmm? The baby Alicia was carrying wasn't mine. Roberto, I swear to you on my life. On your life. It was not mine. Hey, Gabby, listen. Uh, come on, look, I'm sorry about the mix-up on the plane earlier. But you know, you could have just switched seats with Chris. Yeah, so could you. Anyway, it's no big deal. OK, look, I'll tell you what. Why don't we start over? Go to our rooms, freshen up, and meet later for a drink. That way, we could go over all the stuff we should have on the flight. OK. How does a half an hour sound? Perfect. It'll give me just enough time to shower. Me too. So I'll swing by your room? Yeah. Um, 942. Okay. Okay. into a crime scene. So what are we looking for? I'll tell you when we find it. That helps. A little black book, OK? So it's true it's been going around school? What? She was like a call girl. Yeah. I wish you would have told me. Why? Maybe I could have helped her through it, you know? Done something for her. Listened to, I don't know, something. Look at this. <laughs> this is for her trip to Paris. Paris? Yeah, like in France. <laughs> she was going to go after graduation. I was supposed to go with her. No. I'm sorry, Joey. I really am. Maybe I'll still go.
Hey, look at this. That's right. Make it harder. Look, just uh, be careful, okay? Yeah, I was just about to tell you the same thing. Look, Sage. I want it too, Thomas. Then leave the SOB. I will, I will. Just have to give me a little more time, okay? I'll call you later. Okay. Lock up, all right? Until I know we've got the right guy, I want you to be safe here. So, what's up, Dylan? You hear from your dad? Uh, no. I mean, yeah. Got his weekly fact from his executive assistant. Look, that's not what I wanted to talk about. Okay, then what? I wanted to talk about the girl that was killed. Kayla. Right. Right, she was in your class, huh? You knew her? Yeah. yeah. She and I were, we were very close. So how can I help? I think maybe I know who killed her. Look at all these names. Why didn't I see this coming, T? I mean, we were best friends. I guess Kayla just led a secret life nobody knew about. Any of these names can be the killer. More than none of them. Could have been she was, you know, just the wrong place in the wrong time. In her apartment? Hey, look at this. Expecting someone else's sweetness. Stop sneaking up on me, Macy. Sneaking? No, I, I just thought I'd surprise you. Nothing about you surprises me anymore. Don't be so sure about that. What do you want, Macy? <sighs> just a little primetime coverage. And what's that supposed to mean? That when your buddy, the cop, asks where you've been the last few nights, you tell him that you were tucked away with me, warm and cozy. Say to me you had nothing to do with those girls getting murdered. Oh, Sage. You had nothing to do with those girls getting murdered. <laughs> it's not funny, Macy. I don't believe this. You can believe whatever the hell you want. But do as you're told. Am I making myself perfectly clear? What's in it for me, Macy? I might decide to let you both live.
Jesse. Gabby. Hey, uh, Lucas is, is in the shower. Do you want me to go and get him for you? <clears throat> no, no, that's, that's actually okay. Of Ocean Avenue. There is a lot of action going on between your cell phone and your watch. Kind of expecting a phone call. When? Soon, I guess. Maybe. Now I get it. Oh God. Um, how is my hair? It's it's good, um, but you're only answering the phone, so nobody will know. You're right. Yeah. I don't care what she did. Kayla mattered. And I want you to find that guy, okay? We'll find him. I promise you that, Dylan. <laughs> <laughs>